So in terms of just practical stuff, like as a director, as an experienced director, how do you talk to a camera op about the etiquette part? Like how close is too close? You know, I go back to a, uh, a festival we were doing once with the Tomlin Band, and there was this, you know, we didn't know any of the, of the tech staff, but there was this guy on stage with a handheld camera who was getting so close to Jesse, our bass player, that it became Jesse's mission in life to take his headstock and just deck this guy <laughs> because he was just like, get out of my way. Right. Right. But without that relationship, without that communication, it's a different conversation. But as a director, how are you telling your guys, okay, this is what you need to think about. This is what you need, how you need to approach it. This is how you need to be sensitive, whatever. Be aware of how close is too close, how close do you need to be, and where's that line? Yeah, I think um, it really, it's twofold. Is one, really showing them, like, different examples physically, like, hey, just stop here. You know, you don't want to get in this space here. Um, but then also, too, is building a relationship with the band. Build a relationship with the worship leaders, you know, Talk to them. Be not just be a camera up that comes up. And now this is all subjective, also because I know there are certain there are certain places where, you know, it's not really able. People aren't able to do that. But try to as much as possible talk talk to the band. Talk like, hey, my name's Chad. I want to be camera hopping here tonight today. You know, um, it, there might be times when I might get like this close, and this is as far as I'll get. I promise. You know, yeah, um, and things like that, or. Hey, I'm going to be wrapping around you like this at times, you know, um, and just almost foreshadowing or for, you know, telling them ahead of time, just like, this is what's, what, what's happening. And, and a lot of them now I've, I've realized after a while, because they see the shots later, they realize, oh, that's why, that's uh -huh. why he was in my face. You why know? is the camera on top of the keyboard? Like, yeah. I got to go play down there. Yeah. Yeah. And I, and I think that's great. Like getting people to understand the communication is so key. And then I just tell operators, like, I guess I don't have a lot of, like, hard and set rules as a director, but if you're stepping on a cable, you shouldn't do that. Yeah. yeah. Like, this is obvious yeah. things. Like, yeah. if you're even close enough that you might step on a cable, you're too close. Too close. If you're close enough that if the guitar swings, it'll hit you, you're too close. So, like, you need to pretend like you're a mime and there's a box around yeah. that person that you, <laughs> yeah. can't, you can't get past that. Yeah. Um, but also, I mean, if you know that that guitarist likes to turn around and walk up stage to go interact with the drummer, then you shouldn't be between them. Just, yeah. just being aware of your surroundings. Exactly. That's good. And also aware of your your cable management. Yep. You know, if you don't have somebody that's wrangling cable for you, you know, know where your cable's at. You know, I mean, I have countless stories of an op coming around and doing a wraparound and his SDI cable hits the reverb uh, knob on the guitar pedal. And it just starts. <laughs> oh, no. And he's like quickly, oh, you know, yeah. guitar players, you know, or pulling out. SDI gets wrapped around the power cable and pulls out the power cable. You know, so being mindful of that too, and then, yeah. and yeah, and getting Physical back. Physical barriers, like yeah, don't get on a drum riser. Yeah, just don't do it. Yeah. You don't need to get on the drum riser. Yeah.